Hi, folks. Andre Moreland and Andre Moreland Superstars in Saxon and Dexter, Missouri. Let Jeff Williams rob a deal for you. If you've been looking for America's hottest selling SUV, the Chevrolet Equinox or the GMC Terrain with a 32 miles per gallon highway, we got them. Two huge locations to serve you. That's Moreland Chevrolet Cadillac and Dexter and Andre Moreland Incorporated in Saxton, Missouri. More than stand on the back of your car, truck, or horse, you pay too much. Good morning. Welcome back once again to the Statesman News Network. I'm Corey Knowles, and today is Wednesday, June 9th. Today we've got a handful of big stories for you you want to keep an eye on. There will be a memorial dedication this Saturday for the Stoddard County Poor Farm Memorial. Uh, most people probably don't even know this exists. It's going to be around 10 a.m. on Saturday morning, immediately north of the Missouri Veterans Cemetery. It's kind of hard to find, but I think with the memorial there and people around, it'll be a little more obvious. Uh, at least 201 indigents were buried there over the last century and a half. County residents who died without resources for a conventional burial in a city or a church cemetery were buried there. The persons buried were often workers on the county farm before days of nursing facilities and social security and things like that. The practice of providing them with modest housing, food, and a burial spot in exchange for labor at a county farm was a common practice back in the mid-1800s. So, you know, this is a pretty important memorial, and I think everyone should come out for it. It should be interesting. Also, the Bernie Board of Aldermen approved taking bids for repairs to several city streets and sidewalks this week. Uh, and also set October 2nd, 2010 as the date for the annual Fall Festival at the City Park at their regular Monday night meeting. The city also recently took possession of its new tanker truck and is quite impressive. There's a picture on page one today you want to check out. In Dexter News, City Attorney Bud Lawrence was contacted by an area bank and asked how the board would feel about making a possible exception to a portion of the city's liquor license ordinance. Lawrence said the bank told him they have a couple of people who are interested in the property that used to be weekenders on the north side of Highway 60, but they're only interested if they can have a liquor license as well. The catch is that the city ordinance doesn't allow for a liquor license to be issued within 300 foot of a church, and the Dexter Evangelical Free Church is literally right across the parking lot from the former restaurant. The bank asked the city would be willing if they were able to get written permission from the church to say that it was okay with them. I have no idea what way this will go. It's an interesting story, though, that could develop in the coming weeks, so you want to keep an eye on it. No action was actually taken the other night, though, so not much has happened. Next, we have uh, the victims from the motorcycle crash on Monday. Their names have been released now. Uh, killed in this one vehicle crash was 60-year-old Sharon Kirby of Matthews. She was a passenger on the motorcycle driven by 55-year-old James Young also of Matthews. Kirby died at a Cape Girardeau medical facility after being flown from the scene of the accident at Highway 60 and One Mile Road Monday evening. Young is reportedly listed in critical condition, and the cause of the accident has not yet been determined. In local sports, the girls' division of the first annual Rib City Shootout will be held this Friday and Saturday at the Bearcat Event Center. Dexter girls basketball coach Chad Allen has been instrumental in starting the basketball camp that will feature 27 varsity and 6 junior varsity teams for the girls. The first boys camp is slated for July 9th and 10th. For more, more info, they've set up a website at www.ribcityshootout.com. Check it out. It gives some interesting information. Uh, Cardinals took another tough loss last night. It seems to be the story of the last few days. Dodgers won one to nothing in a late night game at Dodger Stadium. Uh, following what was a fantastic performance by pitcher Chris Carpenter, but it wasn't enough to hold on. Uh, their record stands at 31-24, and 24, and they're still in a tie for first place in the National League Central Division with the Cincinnati Reds. They'll play again at Dodger Stadium tonight at 9.10 p.m. behind pitcher Adam Wainwright. It's going to become a little more cloudy as the day goes on with a 70% chance of thunderstorms, some of which could be a little rough. The uh, chance will decrease in the evening, but it's going to hang around through the rest of the week for sure. Highs today is supposed to be around 84 with a low around 68, so hopefully it won't be all bad. Like, once again, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, comments, or submissions, shoot me an email. I'm Corey at cnoles at dailystatesman.com or give me a call at 624-4545. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's print edition for these stories and much, much more. And on that note, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.